everyone and welcome back to Phonics with me Leanne and of course the wonderful Felix. Now today we are going to be having a look at some of the tricky words in phase four. Now Felix can you remember how many tricky words there are in phase four? Fourteen! There are! Well done! There are fourteen different tricky words. Now in our last Phonics video we had a look at four words didn't we? Felix can you remember what they say? Said, have, like, so. Well done! Did you remember them too? We had four words, said, have, like and so. Today we have displayed the rest of the tricky words using the look, say and write spelling worksheets. Now there's loads of things, isn't there, on the Twinkle website that you can use, such as activities, worksheets and games. So Felix and I have come up with a couple of little games you can play at home or at school to help you learn your tricky words. So first of all, Felix, having four words all at the same time might be a little bit scary. So what could we do instead? We can fold the paper up and do two at a time. We can, well done. Can you see, I folded it up. So we only need to focus on two of the tricky words. So Felix, shall we have a go? If I point to this tricky word, can you tell us what it says? Some, well done. And what about this one? Come, excellent, well done. And while we're here, let's have a look at the rest of the tricky words. Fair, little, one, when, I think the plant's in the way for that one, Felix. Let's move that out the way, there we go. What does that one say? When, this one, out, and the last one, what. Fantastic. So you can go through the words again and again, and I'm going to be a little bit sneaky now because I am going to cover up one of the words. So have a good look. Have a look at the tricky words. Remember them, remember them. Da, 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 da. Covering one up. Okay, Felix, have a look. Which one do you think is missing? Hmm. What? <gasps> you did it, well done. I did indeed, I, I did what, didn't I? So you can do this with any of the words. You've got to close your eyes, don't peek, and then cover up a word, and then see if you can guess which one is missing. So that's another little activity you can do. Also, if you want to do some writing, you could pick maybe one or two of the tricky words and form a sentence. Now you can say the sentence, can't you Felix? Or you can write the sentence down. So Felix, would you like to pick two words or just one to form a super sentence? Two. <gasps> Ambitious. You're going to pick two words, two tricky words from the board. Which two tricky words would you like to pick? There and little. There and little, okay. So you pick these two tricky words to form a sentence. So Felix, would you like to write it down? Oh my goodness. Okay, Felix is busily writing down his super sentence. And again, you can pick just one or you can pick two or even three of the tricky words to write a sentence. Have you done it? Wow, let's have a look. <gasps> you have. Fantastic, look at Felix and his super sentence. Should we hold it up for everyone to see? There we go. Shall I read it for everyone? There was a little cat in my garden. Did you read it too? Fantastic, Felix. So I'm going to pop that there. Oh, there as well on the board. There we go. We can stick the sentence over the top of the worksheet. So then, you can have somebody else thinking of a sentence with one, someone else thinking of a sentence with when, and so on. There are so many different things you can do to learn tricky words, aren't there, Felix? But remember, they are tricky because you can't sound them out phonetically, which is a bit annoying, isn't it? Well done, everyone, for joining in. Well done. We are at the end of phase four now. Join us next time, and we are going to be starting phase five. Well done, everyone. See you next time. Goodbye.